Uh, time. Time is the most important thing. Um, it's the one thing that the moment we're born, uh, it starts ticking off. And so when we slide into home plate, we don't know when that's going to happen. And whenever that does happen, uh, it will eventually happen. When it does, uh, you want to look back and look and see how you've occupied that time. And so I would say tied with time would be family, of course, is the most important uh, tangible thing. Family events and get-togethers are very important. Um, all those times um, build memories, and that's the, the thing that is uh, one of the things that when we all leave the, this earth, um, we leave behind is our legacy. And uh, part of that is the time we've spent with the people that are most important to us. So travel has been a very important part of that as well. Um, a lot of our conversation around the table uh, reflects back on trips that we all took as a, as a family. So we tried to, as a, as a family, travel as much as possible and to see places, especially where our families came from in the old country countries and to meet the relatives and to see the places where our great-grandparents came from and uh, again it just helps uh, to establish where you came from uh, so that you know where you're going. Her and I met when she was 15, I was 17 and we were in high school and we've been together now 35 years, uh, married for 31 and um, yeah, she grew up on the farm in rural Alberta in Barhead, and I grew up in town. And um, we met up, like I said, at high school and been together for our whole lives, so yeah. And we've tried to identify uh, tangible things that, that one child might like or want that's uh, being passed down from generations. Uh, so we've, we've identified those items or those objects and either they've been dealt with already or they're very clearly understood by all, all the kids that, you know, this goes to this person uh, because he or she specifically wanted that from the grandparent or something like that. Um, but we've also been very clear and very uh, practical in the sense that everything we have, we build up over life, but then in the last 10 years of life, you're getting rid of it and you're reduced to a, a single bed and, and everything you can put in a suitcase. So none of the stuff we built up means anything. It's If it does, say so now and we'll make sure you have it. But the real tangibles uh, really is, is the time and the memories. So um, we've, I think, done a pretty good job at saying, let's not get caught up in the, in the minutia of things and in the, uh, the tangibles that really mean it not that much at the end of the day, what's really important. And of course, the relationships and keeping those solid. And if we can do our best to, to not impose any unrealistic expectations in our death, then I think we've done our part as best we can. Looking at what, what's been important to me, being time and family, um, to express to the next generation, continue to make that a, an important thing for, you know, in your own lives. Um, the time you have is, is limited. Do the best you can with it. It doesn't matter what you do, just do the best you can with it. And uh, try and nurture the relationships so that everybody uh, continues to have that same op opportunity to grow as family and, and again, know where you came from. And, and I think our kids do know where they came from. So pass that down to the next generation. Make it so that they always know where they came from. And that way they'll have a better way of charting where they're going. <laughs>